Today we are talking about why analysts are wrong when they say Ford is a better investment than Tesla. But before we start, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and now let's get right into the article. Electric vehicles have garnered substantial support from social pressures and government policies, prompting automakers to respond with innovative designs and new models. While electric vehicles are capturing much of the spotlight, high-tech subscription services may have a more significant long-term impact on the industry. These subscription services are emerging at the intersection of software, connectivity, and automobiles. Offerings include features such as online mapping, remote vehicle control, and even hands-free driving. For car manufacturers, these services represent a lucrative new income stream with higher margins. Amidst these transformative trends, the traditional investment strategy in the automotive sector remains steadfast. Investors should continue to seek out stocks that offer the best value for their investment. This is where analysts at Bernstein have stepped in, comparing Tesla with Ford to determine which is the better investment in today's market. Turning to Tesla, Elon Musk's flagship business stands out as the only United States electric vehicle maker currently turning a profit. Tesla, in just over 20 years, has evolved from a startup to boasting a market capitalization of over $560 billion, making it not only the world's largest electric vehicle maker, but also the largest automotive company of any type. Tesla's leadership in the electric vehicle industry is clear. It was the first electric vehicle maker to scale up to full production and the first to achieve profitability. Tesla first recorded profits in 2020 and for the past seven consecutive quarters has reported revenues of at least $20 billion. This success is underpinned by Tesla's robust infrastructure, which includes a network of advanced factories producing high-quality vehicles that meet customer demand for both performance and styling. In addition to manufacturing quality cars, Tesla has made connectivity a standard feature in every vehicle it sells. The basic service includes features such as music and media streaming, live traffic visualizations, and interactive maps. All Tesla vehicles come with standard connectivity for the first eight years of ownership, while premium connectivity options are available through paid subscriptions purchasable at any time via the car's touchscreen. This past April, Tesla released its numbers for first quarter vehicle production and delivery, along with its quarterly financial results. However, the figures were somewhat disappointing. Production for the first quarter was 433,371 vehicles, down from the previous quarter's approximately 495,000. Thousand. Similarly, deliveries for the first quarter totaled 386,810, a decline from the more than 484,000 vehicles delivered in the fourth quarter. Tesla cited several factors contributing to the declines in production and deliveries, including arson at its Berlin Gigafactory, shipping diversions in the Red Sea due to the ongoing war in the Middle East, and unique factors such as factory shutdowns and production ramps. These production numbers formed the basis for the company's first quarter earnings performance. Tesla's total revenue reached $21.3 billion in the first quarter of 2024, down 8.5% year over year, while missing the forecast by $960 million. Bottom line earnings were $0.45 cents per share by non-GAAP figures, which was $0.05 cents per share lower than anticipated and represented a 47% decline year over year. Taking a closer look at the earnings results, Bernstein five-star analyst Tony Sakonagi noted, while the first quarter deliveries were disappointing, margins were not as weak as feared. Investors also responded positively to Tesla's mapping partnership with Baidu. Delving further, Sakonagi added, Autonomy in China remains very competitive, with Xpeng and Huawei offering similar features to Tesla's autopilot for free. These functionalities are often provided at no extra cost, so we suspect Tesla may face low adoption rates for full self-driving at its current pricing and do not see it as a significant sales catalyst in China. Quantifying his position, Sakonagi rates Tesla with a sell rating, and his price target of $120 implies a potential decline of a approximately 32% over the next 12 months. Overall, Tesla receives a hold rating from the analyst consensus, based on 33 recent analyst reviews that include 9 buy ratings, 15 hold ratings, and 9 sell ratings. Currently, Tesla shares are trading at $176.75, while its average target price of $174.60 suggests that the shares are expected to remain range-bound in the near future. However, I think Tesla is a great company, which is why I am buying more stock, but always make sure to do your own research. Now, let's shift our focus 
is to one of Detroit's classic names, the Ford Motor Company. Ford has built its reputation on its dominance in the pickup truck market, particularly with its light, medium, and heavy-duty F-Series trucks, and its celebrated muscle cars symbolized by the iconic Mustang. The F-150 pickup has long been a favorite among customers and has consistently ranked among the best-selling vehicles of any type in the United States market for decades. Ford's ventures into electric vehicles have included electrified versions of both these popular models. However, even the well-known Mustang and F-150 names have not propelled the company's electric vehicle segment into profitability. Although sales are strong, with Ford's electric vehicle sales up by 129% year-over-year as reported in the April 2024 sales update, reviewing the overall first quarter earnings report released at the end of April, Ford reported a top line of $42,800,000 million dollars, exceeding the forecast by $1 billion $300 million. Despite the losses in the electric vehicle sector, Ford's commercial segment, Ford Pro, experienced a 36% year-over-year growth, driven largely by demand for Super Duty trucks and transit delivery vans. Additionally, the company's research and development-focused Ford Blue segment saw robust hybrid sales, with these vehicles on track for 40% sales growth this year. For tech-savvy investors, Ford offers connected services through a subscription model. These services include connected navigation, theft recovery, hands-free driving, and access to an electric charging network. Designed to enhance the driving experience in any Ford vehicle, these services also facilitate regular software updates. Covering Ford for Bernstein, analyst Daniel Roeska illustrates a legacy company evolving with the times. Roeska stated, The iconic automaker continues to enjoy strong profits from one of the most concentrated and protected auto markets in the world, namely United States large sport utility vehicles and large pickup trucks. The company is generating sufficient cash to fund its transition to electric vehicles and return cash to shareholders. Over the past few years, the company has quickly pivoted away from lower margin products restructured its company and business units, and focused its efforts on higher margin business-to-business -business sales. While there is much more to do on electrification, we see management converging on a clear path forward that will expand the use of hybrid cars and significantly limit losses in the electric vehicle business. Looking ahead, Roska explains why Ford should continue to yield returns for investors. We forecast 2,024 results at the upper end of guidance, over 15% ahead on consensus earnings before interest and taxes, and see significantly better results than in upcoming years driven by lower losses and ultimately profits on electric vehicles. If you haven't owned Ford lately, now is the time. These insights underpin the analysts' buy rating on Ford, with a $16 price target indicating a potential 37% upside over the next 12 months. Projections from other analysts show a mix of opinions, with the stock receiving a moderate buy consensus rating based on 7 buys, 5 holds, and 1 sell. Nevertheless, the optimists seem to have the upper hand. With an average price target of $15.25, shares are expected to trade at a 30.5% premium one year from now. Collectively, this suggests that Bernstein sees Ford as the better automotive stock to buy right now, offering a solid base to support its operations and adaptability in the evolving electric vehicle market. However, I believe they are seriously mistaken. Tesla is a far superior company compared to Ford, but only time will tell. With that being said, I wish you the best of luck, happy investing, and I will see you in the next video.